Hey, how's it going? You didn't think I was gonna forget to make a video this week, did you? I almost thought I was gonna forget to make a video this week, what with moving and all the fun that comes with that. June tunes, all eight songs figured out, all eight songs at least started, but what you wanna see is how. How is it that these songs get created? I noticed here, tiny little link 4.1 for beatbox, and it happens that it now can read from a MIDI keyboard input, which is lucky. I didn't plan for that to be released just before June. I had no idea. But because of that, I borrowed my little brother's MIDI keyboard. He doesn't need it. It'll be mine for a little while. That helps with the melody. So last week was drums. This week will be melody. And I'm not going to do it live. I'm just going to show you what I did. Why is a piano useful for figuring out the melody. So some of these songs, you see Taylor Swift, you see Bang by AJR and Genghis Khan by Mike Snow. Those are like pretty hot topic songs and someone out there will figure out the notes and then make a little piano tutorial. It's very nice of them. This is Genghis Khan. And this song rules. I'm super glad to end the album with it. It's a great finale. More obscure songs like Goblin Hovel, 27 likes, you know, and this isn't even officially them. This is some Random woman putting it on here. Wonderful. This song is a little harder to come by. There's no piano tutorial for it. However, when listening to a song, if you have a piano hooked up, which I do, check this out. There's me playing that note. There's the high C. I can do chords. It's fun. It's very fun. And of course, beatbox will switch to the voice you're on. So if I go back to orange. And of course the keyboard has octave settings, so I might need to go down to actually hit those notes. It's very fun. And what this lets you do is listen to the song and then play the notes and try to see if they match. I don't have perfect pitch. It can be difficult, but what you can't tell is if two notes are like the same or not. Like here, without looking at what I'm playing, here's a note. Here's another note. Could you tell they were different? This isn't a perfect pitch tutorial. The point is you can listen to the song. And that was the key part that I was trying to figure out there, the mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you only need to figure out three notes because if you didn't, if you couldn't tell the last note is the same. Now, from my piano training, I would always guess the note C first because that's the note that you learn a lot. It's even in the key of C, you can see C is highlighted. And I got lucky because the song starts on C, so I was listening. One of the nice things about this tab is like you can play while you're not on the same tab. So here I am on GitHub, and I can still play notes. And you heard that right there, like that sounds like the right note. So then you, you can spitball, one of them's higher, one of them's lower. And then the next one might be, and of course I know it already. And that's how that goes. Now, I found that through testing it. So here I am. Uh, I can play it with the song. You should be able to hear both. Yeah, it's a little hard to hear, but that's what we're looking at there. And then there's that thing at the top that goes like beep, 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 which also just happens to be C, which was not an unreasonable guess. It makes sense for it to be that. So you notice at the end there it goes do 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 do, which I have in the second frame here. Uh, here we go. Ooh, be do. And we've got that up at the top. So here's what I've got. Okay, the vocals will eventually come in. And those were also figured out using the notes, but you can see here by how they overlap. The low voice is, is the note C, the high voice is the note C as well, which is something we like. It's kind of like a lucky thing. So here's the original. There is that. He waits, he starts on C, and we hear the chorus. Okay, so I just listened to half the song at the beginning. 
it's the the build up the chorus grinding goblin singing and then the guy again and both choruses sounded about the same but here at about two minutes uh there's this sort of instrumental bit which will be the real challenge from a melodic perspective <laughs> And I don't know if I have that in me right now. I could try. So that low voice was doing something. It was like a boom, 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 boom. Something there. I'm not too good with pitch, as you can tell. Yeah, and there's me just continuing to guess what the original melody was. I think this one's a little different. That's tough. That's a tough one for sure. Cool. I think that's all we have for today. Wonderful song here. Things keep trucking. Obviously, there's progress. And that's what I've got for you this week. Thanks so much for watching.